What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how not to raise chickens. Most of these are pretty obvious, but if you do any of these, you might have your mistakes corrected by the end of this video. First one is overdosing them on treats. Now it's really easy to feed your chickens way too many treats. Like sure, this is my hand, this is a good amount of treats that these chickens will definitely enjoy. You can obviously give your chickens treats, but don't give it to them in an extremely high volume. Because at times, your chickens will just think you're a moron who wants to give them too many treats, and they won't accept it anymore. So always remember that you're not giving your chickens dog shit, so that way you can build a trust bond with your chicken. Anyways, always try your best to like, not feed your chickens that many treats, but at the same time, you should also be hanging out with your chickens at the most, uh, a lot of times. Feed them more when they're on the road, usually once every hour, but you should really be giving one to two boxes of treats per day per chicken, per chicken flock, I should say. The second one is not providing a ramp that your chickens can get in and out of the coop with. Do you want to know how hard it is if, say, your coop door is like three and a half feet off the ground like my farm flocks is? I don't know how tall my farm flocks coop actually is. Ah, crap, love you, sorry. But, like, when you have, like, those, like, really high doors, you don't really want your chickens to be flying out of them at high speeds of 80 miles per hour. Just so you know, chickens don't actually fly that fast. They usually go like 10 or 11 miles per hour. But like seriously, imagine just a chicken just flying right out of your door. Imagine what injuries could come upon that. So always remember that a chicken should always have a nice ramp so that way they can get out of the coop easily. Even with these small ones, there can still be injuries. Because especially sometimes chickens do enjoy because in absence of a ramp, sometimes chickens will literally jump right off the roof's bar, which in some cases is six and a half feet off the ground, and sometimes even higher. So just imagine those injuries of them flying out of their three and a half foot high coop will make that three times worse. This is a really serious one in disguise, and that is not getting the right breeds of chickens to mix together. While this might seem like only a breeding issue, it's also an issue in several other areas. Like, Imagine, like, you mess up, like, breeds, seriously. Like, ser sure, these chickens look incredibly different, that's okay. These breeds are friendly with one another. But if you put, like, things like bantams with giant chickens, like, uh, I gotta say, like, what's the, their name? The uh, black australope chickens, like, if you put them with that, chances are, like, uh, they're gonna have a lot of fights. So always remember that you're right, mixing in the right mix of chickens. And also, you should note that the pecking order is a real thing. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that if you have done any of these, you might have had your mistakes corrected. If you want to stay tuned for more of these mistake-correcting videos, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel, so you can find out what you're doing wrong and right with raising chickens. And also learn how to grow a sustainable farm and homestead with basic knowledge. Bye.